I'll tell you the full story, okay? So it started back when I was visiting my friend Maria, which would have been the weekend of December 11th. I noticed when I woke up the very first morning there, I stayed there two nights, that my boobs were so sore. Like I woke up and was like, what? happened like if i were to roll over it was just so tender and it was like way earlier than my period was supposed to come so i was very confused like oh boy i was just buckling myself up for a pretty intense period because i was like okay if i'm getting sore boobs like literally what would it that have been so i was uh, i was projected to get it december 20th and i was my boobs were sore december 11th so that was a week and seven, eight, nine days, nine days before my period because the week I would have been ovulating would have been that week. So it was very sudden, very on oncoming. <laughs> we definitely weren't trying to have any children, although we're gonna love the literal crap out of this baby, but not expected, not planned. Uh, but in case future baby is watching this, then very, very, I'm in shock, I don't know how to react, but I love you already just because you exist. So, and I've always wanted to be a mom. So like, it's just timing is just, I think the shock for both of us because we just, we wanted this. We just didn't expect it so soon. Sunday, I started getting cramps and not crazy cramps, just like doll cramps, but they were pretty persistent. They didn't stop. Monday, same thing all day, didn't stop. And that was the first time that I was like, ooh, this is a little different because I know my body pretty well. I know I'm pretty intimate with my cycle. Like I track all of my symptoms and it's very, I've never had a period before where I had ongoing cramps for multiple days in a row. It's usually like I get a little crampy for a couple hours and then I know my period's coming. And so by the end of the day on Monday, when I was like, okay, I've had nonstop cramps for two full days now, but nothing's happening. Like what's going on? So then Tuesday rolls around which was the 21st same thing I'm cramping all day I'm so bloated Wednesday yesterday I'm like okay I'm three days late now uh, something's up something's definitely different like I, I had cramps yesterday I still have a little bit today but they're they're starting to subside now it felt like if I were to like stretch back or like because I do yoga like if I lift up my chest and like you know <laughs> back bend if I back bend my like groin area my just below my belly button felt like it was pulling which was weird because i was like again like these don't feel like normal cramps so yesterday i almost didn't buy the test i was like at shoppers drug mart and because it's christmas it was so busy and i was just like you know what maybe i'm overreacting i'm only like two days late uh, my cycle is usually about 30 days but anywhere it can be like 28 days to like 32 days so i was like maybe i'll probably just wake up tomorrow and get my period like why should i even waste the money uh, and then for whatever reason, last second, I was like, you know what? I already drove here. Like, don't do that. Don't be indecisive. Just go in there and buy the test. Even if you don't use it now, like you'll use it in the next year. I'm sure you'll, I, I, who knows? You never know when you're going to need one. So just go in and grab it. And then you can also get snacks. <laughs> so I did that. I picked up dinner. I went back home to my boyfriend's. I wasn't here. And, uh, we ate dinner, I was doing work, I uploaded a video, I didn't think much of it. I told him I was gonna take a test, but he wasn't worried either. Like it was more so just like a, let's just be certain kind of thing. And anyway, it's like best to take your test in the morning or like through the night because apparently the hormone HCG builds up in your body when you haven't gone to the bathroom in a while. So I wake up in the middle of the night and I really had to go to the bathroom. And I'm like, you know, when your eyes are like glued shut, I'm like trying to like rip this wrapper open. And then like in my head, I am seriously just like, this is just preventative. This is just for me to affirm to myself that there's nothing to worry about. Not that I would worry about you, little one, if you're watching in the future. <laughs> I don't want to say anything that would make this child ever feel like it's not welcome. It's just very shocking. So I do my business. I literally put the test back in the wrapper and put it back in my bag because it was going to take three minutes. And in my head, I was like, I know it's negative. So I'm just going to go back to bed. I literally went back to bed and woke up in the morning this morning. We wake up relatively early because he works. We both work actually pretty early or I like to do my morning routine pretty early. So we woke up at about 5.30 or 6 and we were just kind of laying in bed and talking and then I was like, oh yeah, like I took a test last night. And he was like, oh, did you? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, what did it say? And I was like, I didn't even look. And so I roll over and I grab my bag and I, I pull out the test and I'm like looking at it in the dark and you know how your eyes are trying to adjust in the dark. There's only just a, there's like only a little bit of light coming from outside. I can see more than two letters. Like it looks bigger than the word no. There's like a salt lamp on the side of the bed that I sleep on at his place. And uh, 
it said yes. And I swear, I kid you not, the air left my lungs. I don't even fully remember, like I don't think I processed that moment fully. Cause like, I was just like, babe, it says yes. And he didn't believe me. He thought I was playing a joke on him. He's like, no, it doesn't. Like, no, it doesn't. And I was like, it literally says yes. And we were both in shock. <laughs> like, I think we kind of laughed. And then I was like, wait, there's two tests. Like, maybe this is a false positive. I'll just go try another test. I do the same thing all over again. And it takes three minutes. This time I did not go back to sleep. And I like washed my hands and I came back and I'm sitting on the edge of the bed. And like, I don't even know what he was doing. Like, I feel like this was all such a blur, but all of a sudden I'm just like waiting and I'm watching that clock just flash, like waiting for it to say yes or no. And it comes back and it says yes. And just, yeah, all day I've just been like sitting here trying to process that. <laughs> anyway, I haven't like talked about it with anybody. I haven't told anyone, it, only him and I know right now. We like woke up, we went downstairs. Like we just like, I feel like we've, we've just been in shock. Um, we both had work to do today, so like we hugged each other and like we kissed each other But we were also just like holy shit um, So it feels so weird that I just have to like sit with this for 24 hours and like I can't tell anyone But like I need to talk about it. And, like I don't know I've been like looking things up all day. I'm trying to focus on work. I'm on my lunch break right now, but like and Like I can just feel these little cramps and like I can't help but just feel like I'm just I don't even know what to feel like I'm like blown away i'm shocked i am already just so in love with whatever the heck is growing inside of me um i love my body so much like i just i feel a lot of clearly i feel a lot of emotions I'm not expecting this definitely have no idea like what to do what to expect I need to call a doctor and like get in with a midwife i did look up some midwives that live close by um i am so in love with my boyfriend we love each other very deeply this child was definitely made in love i have no idea when or like what time but yeah <laughs> um so that's where i'm at right now and you're the first to know even though you guys won't know about this probably for a couple weeks or maybe months that you'll finally see this christmas came early i guess <laughs> and like i just don't even know like what to do i've just been sitting here working all day as if there hasn't been this life altering shift of information being given to me this morning this is the weird part it's like so many things told me this was gonna happen and i don't know why to this day i always still doubt my intuition and i always doubt my spirituality and like i don't want to make it that because I know, I know not everybody watching is like on that same cruise ship. You know, we all go, we're all going in the same direction, but we all take different routes. But personally, I take a more spiritual path in life. And I had a dream about having a baby than my stepmom did, than my sister did, and then my actual mom did. And then I got two different people, you guys, two different subscribers writing to me in, in the comment section of videos being like, hey, like I had a dream you were pregnant. And like one in particular, and you know who you are, but you were like, I had a dream you were pregnant and you were in a cafe and you were giving birth and I was trying to tell you to like not vlog your hoo-ha. And I literally wrote back, it was like a week ago, I wrote back and was like, you're like the fifth person to say that. So I'll be extra careful. <laughs> I am very trusting, like I'm very trusting of the divine plan and path of life. Like, okay, this was meant to happen for a reason. Like, that's the story of finding out. <laughs> Day one, 23rd of December. I don't know, when we've had more time to talk about it and just like come to the conclusion of what we're gonna, like we don't live together. Like we're gonna, this is just changed. It's changed our path. Our path is still the same. It just changed the route that we're taking to get there because I knew I wanted to marry my boyfriend. I almost just called him my husband. I knew I wanted to marry my boyfriend. I knew I wanted to have kids with him if I were to have kids with anybody. Um, I love his values. I love that he wants a family, that he's made that very clear. We want a lot of the same things out of life and um, we balance each other out very, very well. So I'm, I'm just like, this was just, it just came sooner. Like on my five year plan, this wasn't supposed to happen for another like three years. <laughs> Oh my god, and our kid's gonna be like three by that time. Oh my god, I can't even think about that. I'm like, I'm, I swear I haven't been emotional like this at all. I think it's just because I'm talking about it and I haven't been able to talk about it all day. I've actually been really chill, really chill. And like, I just want to like tell people that, like, I just want to tell my dad and like, I want to tell my mom. 
and my stepmom, and I don't know, I just want to hug someone right now. Like, obviously I hugged my boyfriend earlier, but like, I don't know if just talking about this right now, like, I just want to hug somebody. <laughs> I just like, I just need someone to be like, yo, it's going to be so good. It's going to be so okay. Because right now I'm just like, I feel a little overwhelmed. Again, future baby, if you're watching. <laughs> you must have always been the plan like you know you can make all the plans you want in life and then life is kind of just like haha come this way i'm like happy but i'm just shocked i'm just like so shocked overwhelmed and astonished and just like very grateful to my body i'm also just like not sure how else to feel it doesn't totally feel real yet anyway i'm gonna clean myself up now and go back to work like as if this is just no big deal update you guys when, when there's updates here we go. It did it again! So it's been a few days since I've last updated you guys. I, it feels real now. It feels real now. Actually the very last day of the year, the last day of 2021. Although you guys are seeing this much in the future. We actually told my boyfriend's family first. So we were at my boyfriend's house or my boyfriend's family house. And I'll show you a little picture here. This was, we took this after we told everybody. So we did all of the gift exchanges and I was so nervous, like I, literally could not breathe my heart was pounding and like the whole time all i could think was like oh my god i can't breathe and then also oh my god this can't be good for the baby like i'm so stressed right now but like we bundle this little onesie up that says 2022 i like rolled it so all you could see was the 2022 when you open the bag and uh we exchange all of our gifts and this was the very last gift and so my boyfriend his name's ryan he goes and he grabs the gift and he gives it to his mom and he goes this is a gift for the whole family. And so she's opening it and like, it takes her a second to like see it. I believe she was like, oh my gosh, I just got goosebumps. And then she pulled it out and Ryan goes, we're having a baby. <laughs> and everybody just freaks out. We all like hugged each other. It was really, really sweet. We decided to do drive-bys. We would go drive by my dad's house with my stepmom, and then we'd drive by my mom and then we'd drive by my Nana. And then I didn't film my Nana, but we went to visit my Nana and my Nana's blind. So I didn't end up giving her the onesie. I was just like, Nana, I've got something to tell you. You can't tell anybody for a little while but you're gonna be a great grandmother again. And she was just over the moon. She was so excited, so happy. And that was pretty much it. I'm supposed to see my friend Christine in a few weeks, so I'll probably tell her then. And I'm supposed to FaceTime Larissa this weekend, so I'll probably tell her then. 
Um, and I told my friend Maria and first symptom I had was when I was staying at my friend Maria's house and I told her about all of the dreams and the comments I was getting on YouTube videos uh, and then to find out two weeks later I was pregnant. So that's the story of telling everybody so far and we're gonna tell like more extended friends and we're gonna tell you guys in as I hit my second trimester which will be just a week before my birthday. Other updates uh, symptom wise, nausea. I get waves of it. I haven't vomited yet, thank god, uh, knock on wood. Just a lot of nausea, like I get it in waves and it's like if I wake up first thing in the morning, I feel so sick and I have to eat. Like as soon as I eat, I feel better. I have so much work to be doing and I'm trying to, you know, keep it on the down low. I have memberships, so I do like three to four live streams a week. So keeping it on the down low has been a little difficult because there's been a couple live streams where I felt so nauseous and I just have to like gulp it down and hold it together. I do get waves of fatigue as well, but like the last two days I felt really good when I first found out I was really, really tired that week. In terms of food cravings, they're strong, but they're like the stuff that I normally crave. So I crave a lot of salty foods. I crave like, oh, Thai food. I literally texted my boyfriend earlier and I was like, can we please get Thai food? That's all I want right now. Just those fat, juicy noodles. <laughs> crunchy lettuce, which is weird. Like I also crave Subway because they have really crunchy lettuce, you know, or like pita pit. If there was a pita pit closer to here, I'd be keeping them in business. Um, so I crave salads, I crave Thai food. The main cravings I've had, oh, and pickles. That was the very first craving I ever had was for pickles. So lots of salty food. I'm craving a lot of salt and I crave a lot of like tofu. Like I wanna eat tofu pad siu or like tofu pad thai. Like that's all I want or just noodles and tofu. But I've also always really liked all of those foods I just listed. Like I, if, if I had a final dinner, I would eat tofu pad siu with chocolate chip cookies. But like, ooh, chocolate chip cookies don't sound so good to me right now. I'm sure if I ate meat, I would crave things like chicken, but I don't haven't ate meat in so long. So like, I want something like meaty, kind of like tofu, but I don't eat meat and meat doesn't really do anything for me either. So like, it's just been tofu. I've been craving tofu and tempeh actually, tempeh bacon. And so yeah, that's been that's been it. And then also, sorry, I just, I just noticed it as soon as I did it. The other weird symptom, this is super weird. If you've never been pregnant before, and this might sound weird, I, before being pregnant, I would have thought this sounded weird, but now that it's happening to me, I'm like, nope, that makes sense, is saliva. I have like so much saliva in my mouth all the time. I'm a hot mess and I'm so bloated. I'm just like, this is probably TMI, but I'm sorry, it's pregnancy, this is what's up. Like, I'm so gassy. It's weird, I'm not even a mom yet, but I feel like I'm already just so protective over this little bean. It's like, it's literally the size of an orange seed or like a pea right now just so tiny and so small, but it's like crazy how something that tiny can cause so much disruption in your body. I'm really hoping a lot of this stuff subsides. Apparently the first trimester can be like the worst because you just, like you're growing all of the fundamental parts of the baby at the very beginning and so, it like, and all of the disruptions in your hormones and such. And so apparently by trimester two, which will be by the time this video goes live, I'm hoping I feel better by then. I guess you'll know by the end of this video. Anyway, there's just lots of stuff, lots of changing stuff. My boyfriend and I have made a plan now. He's gonna be moving in in the new year. Um, and we're gonna do a little bit of house renos. The room I'm in right now is probably gonna be the nursery which I'm gonna be sad to say goodbye to our coffee talk room, but maybe I can, I don't know. I think this room makes more sense for the baby. So there's lots of fun stuff. I feel better now. I feel excited now. I'm so happy now. Like I just have always wanted to be a mom and like just the, I don't know, I guess divine timing, the fact that so many women in my family had dreams about it, it just feels kind of divine. And we're also both really in love. So I feel like that's making me feel better because obviously like I'm a bit of a planner. <laughs> That's an understatement, I'm a planner. And I, I definitely always envisioned myself getting married and then getting pregnant like a year or two later. I'm not mad about it at all. I'm actually just like, you know what, whatever. There's no such thing as normal anymore. I'm just gonna go with the flow. I'm gonna totally embrace as much of it as I can and just like enjoy it. I don't want it to go by too fast, you know? So anyway, that's my update. I'm currently getting ready for the new year. So I'll do a little so I think my boyfriend and I might go over to his parents for some games and then just hang out for the new year. And yeah, on Monday, we're gonna be calling the doctor. Everywhere has been closed pretty much 
since we found out like we tried calling on christmas eve but the doctors that i'm going to be going to were closed till january 3rd so i've just been kind of sitting in this pocket of waiting and patience but that's okay because i'm only two days away from getting into an appointment i'll update you guys whenever that appointment happens and until then talk to you in for you just a minute but for me a few days second doctor's appointment um, and I think it's gonna be my last one for a little bit because I there's a couple updates actually I feel like it's been a little while since I have vlogged an update I my heat was broken so I was basically staying at my boyfriend's house for there's been a couple weeks I was just basically scraping by and like the at the time the nausea was hitting really hard I was getting so tired um, so I've been back at my house for a couple days now which feels really good and I just had my second doctor's appointment where I got to find out my blood work results and we get we got to go over my ultrasound so I did have an ultrasound and then today was the first time I heard the baby's heartbeat because I didn't hear it at the ultrasound so I was really lucky actually because my boyfriend got to come with me to my first ultrasound which I know a few people that are also pregnant right now that, that they're not allowed to bring their partners so that was very special so we got to see a little peanut so here's a picture of little little baby bear heart rate was good heart rate was a little high and not high actually it was still in the normal range but higher in the normal range which if you look up midwives tales they say that means a girl but all the dreams I've been having which have been very vivid have all been about a boy so I have no idea other update is I got a call finally back from the midwives that I applied for so it took them about like three weeks they're really swamped right now but they were able to get me in so I actually meet my midwife tonight and uh, so right now I'm about 10 weeks and four days so I'll be telling you guys in like two and a half weeks so just wild anyway I'm just like I'm in a really good mood right now you can't tell I was just like hearing the baby's heartbeat was so sweet because I didn't get to hear it we just got to see it the first time I haven't made a full decision on birth yet but I'm thinking I want to do a home birth for again I've looked up a lot of people that have done home births and talked to a few people and that's something about it just feels right to me the idea of giving birth at our home and then just being able to like crawl into bed and have baby there and then I just talked about it with our doctor and we'll bring baby in the first week there isn't very much b-roll to share with being pregnant at the moment unless you just want to see b-roll of me trying not to throw up and uh, laying and napping a lot I've been chugging water like crazy I also love orange juice more than anything in the world anyway I'm gonna hit the road and head back home I'm um, happy updates good updates so far everything's good and healthy so far I'm good and healthy. I didn't know my blood type. My first time having blood work done in a very, very long time. So I found out my blood type today. I'm an O positive. I feel like I'm finding out a bunch about like my blood pressure and like all of these things that I didn't know before. I found out that my, I don't know if this is TMI, but like my uterus is like very pivoted to the right, which is interesting. Babies growing bones and little, little spaces for their teeth, even though their teeth aren't gonna grow in just yet. Basically I've had sore boobs for over a month now. So the idea of just ever having normal feeling boobs again I'm trying not to even think about it because I just know it's going to be a while, especially with breastfeeding and stuff too. All right. <clears throat> Been a little while since I've updated and lots has happened. The whole house is just being, it's like full on renovation mode. Remember how I said there was going to be renovations? Let me just, I'll show you. That's a scaffold. Um, got some doors over there. A complete renovation zone which has been really fun. Um, we just actually had electricians here today doing all of the electrical stuff upstairs. I've pretty much stayed in this room since coming back home. There was like no heat here for almost six weeks, which was just that with also trying to hide a pregnancy, going through all the pregnancy symptoms, working because obviously it's not just my house, like this house is also my office and it's my filming studio and my yoga studio. So it was just, things got really stressful for a little while there. I was really just trying to get by day to day. I met my midwife, she's awesome. I have another appointment with her coming up in about a week and a half. Um, and then I just had a more recent ultrasound. So the most recent one was at 12 weeks. I'm now 13 weeks and about four days. Ultrasound was at 12 weeks and it was for all of the genetic tests 
and it blew my mind the difference of the first ultrasound picture you you guys just saw to this ultrasound photo it's just crazy how fast the baby's growing and also all of the features are coming in on the baby and during the ultrasound baby was sucking their thumb and it was just so cute like i'll have another ultrasound at 20 weeks i believe and that'll be to figure out the gender which will be really exciting i'll do a reveal and all of that stuff feels really unsettled still um with all of the renovations going on the house is just a mess like i'm so off my routine i'm so off of my just planner mode and that's been really, it's been an adjustment for me, but I think it's been good. I've been having to learn how to just let go and go with the flow and take things one thing at a time. And I think that's the universe teaching me this probably prior to before baby comes for a reason. And so I've had to get really good at that and just get really good at being like uncomfortable. That's, this feels like such a lesson with learning to be okay with just being uncomfortable. Most of my symptoms have now subsided. I did get COVID, so, and it was pretty bad at first. The first day or two I was throwing up, which I couldn't keep any food down. I couldn't keep any water down and that really scared me. Symptoms left at, after about two days. And uh, then I just kind of was really tired. I go to my genetic ultrasound and baby was okay. So it's all good now, but oh my gosh, that was also a whole trip. Um, I did have a fever for about a day, but I was able to keep it down, which is really good. And so, yeah, I'm all good now. I All of my energy is slowly coming back. I still do get a little bit tired in the middle of the day, but nothing like how tired I was the week I had COVID. That was crazy. I still get tiny waves of nausea, but they've been way more manageable. My cravings have not changed too much. I've been eating a lot of fruit, but I've still been eating a lot of like salty foods. I crave like popcorn and pickles weird i know it's like popcorn pickles and pad thai those are my three things i have the tiniest little baby bump i can try and show you you're gonna have to excuse my bedroom it's a mess let me see if i can kind of show you my baby bump it's not like legit or anything but it's a little bit a little bit bump um baby's actually right on the right side so this side i'm a little bit bigger and uh that's because the baby's like completely over here and i have an at-home baby doppler so we check in on the heartbeat about like once a week i've only found it twice now and so that's really nice it's nice being able to hear the baby's heartbeat it's nice being able to see the baby it's nice kind of getting this bump now because i feel like it's like so much more real it's just lots of exciting stuff lots of shifting gears but i feel like now that i'm entering second trimester things will run a bit more smoothly i'll feel better i'll just be able to get more things done and that's gonna feel good because I just had zero energy the whole first trimester. It was so hard to just get like the littlest bit done. All I wanted to do was sleep, that's it. And like, it was hard to just, my appetite was like there, but not, and it was just so weird. It's been definitely a learning curve for sure. That's the update, that's the future plans as of right now. There's gonna be another video coming up in a couple days and it'll be basically everything I've purchased for the first trimester like my pregnancy pillow just came and it's a game changer it's the best thing in the world honestly I don't even have that much of a bump I think I'll just sleep with this thing for the rest of my life I don't know why they call them pregnancy pillows they should just be called pillows like literal sleep pillows I'm gonna share with you guys basically everything I got during the first trimester including some gifts so that video will be coming out in a few more days I didn't want to make this video too long so I'll see all of you guys in that video but I hope you enjoyed this first announcement video the little clips i was able to take over this last three months of just chaos that's kind of what it felt like chaos and discomfort but it was also bittersweet and beautiful at the same time i love you guys all the way to the moon and back and i will see all of you in the next one bye guys